Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's get straight into the video. So as you know from the title, this video is going to be about three easy to the hairstyles you can do. Um, right now I'm spraying her hair with water. Um, I want to get it nice and damp and moist before I put any product in it. And I'm using this towel because I don't want any water dripping on her neck. But I think she ends up taking it off later on anyway. Um, and then I'm going to start detangling her hair with just a normal hairbrush. Um, obviously taking care of her um, hair, we don't want it to break. So you start from the ends and then you work your way up. So once her hair is all detangled, I'm going in with this Garnier Ultimate Blends um, Banana and Shea Hair Mask. Um, it's actually three in one, so it's a hair mask, um, leave-in conditioner, and something else. I think probably just a normal conditioner, I can't remember. Um, yeah, this actually works really great for her hair texture. I um, use it quite a lot. I thought it was going to be for straight hair, but it's actually... You can use it for her hair as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going in with this, making sure I'm um, moisturising all her hair strands and making sure it's all good in there before I do her hair because you don't want to start doing hairstyles on dry hair. So that was me basically prepping her hair for the three hairstyles we're gonna do. And we're going in with the first one, which is a high pony with some details at the front. It's very easy and I actually do this one the most because it doesn't really take long at all and it looks good and cute and tidy. Um, so what I'm doing is I am brushing the hair backwards, trying to gather it all in my hand. And then with a rat tail comb, I'm just pulling out some strands at the front, just for a little detail. So once I've got it all in my hand, I'm going with a sleek brush and just using it to basically make it more neat at the back the front and all around and it also helps me make it more tighter and um, get rid of the little bumps that's in between and then just tying it up um, I believe I adjusted the strands at the front because I didn't like how there were too much on the side so I've put them more in the middle and then I'm going to get some water and just go over the little pieces of the front um, making them more neat and using my finger to it finger coil. For you. Thank you. <laughs> then going in with Eco Styler Gel, I'm using it to put it on her edges and her sides. And then with a spoolie, just kind of making it more neat. And then that would be the first hairstyle. And then moving on to the next, I'm just going to take it out. And this one is two ponies or bums, I don't know how to call them. Uh, with a zigzag line in the middle. Zig zigzag line in the middle. Uh, just taking the hair out and then I think I'm going to spritz a little bit more water on it just because it's dried up a little bit I think I'm not sure if I'm doing it um, Then trying to Do my middle line just like a it doesn't have to be perfect at the, at the start just like a guideline kind of thing
not gonna lie i did struggle a little bit because it's her first time sitting through three hairstyles um and if you watch you can literally see her moving her head from left to right every two seconds so i literally can't say my zigzag line is anywhere close to perfect <laughs> Moving on, I just tied one of the sides with a hairband because I want to keep it out the way. And then going in with more water spritz, um, water spritz, water. Um, I'm just gonna moisturize the hair again. Um, as you can see, these girls put beads in my slick brush, but yeah. Just going in with a sleek brush, um, just getting all her strands in, making sure it is all tidy and neat. And then also I'm going to be double checking the zigzag line, making sure that it's all pretty even, trying to. And as you can see, mine is not at the front and I'm going to fix that. After I've detangled her little ponies, I'm um, just going in with a slick brush and just putting everything up and then tidying up the front too and then this is her second hairstyle and then going on to the third, we are doing, um, I can't say it's half up, half down, it's, it's basically most of her hair out and then just little hairbands with um, partings at the front. Yep. <laughs> what? This is definitely one of my favourite hairstyles because I just prefer her natural hair the way it is um, and it's also like a cute little thing at the front that makes it pretty and very girly. Um, now I'm just doing the parting in the middle, um, basically I'm going to part it in four somewhat triangles and then just tying them up with hair bands, she chose pink and it's not much to this hairstyle to be honest it's just doing the little front bits and then because i'm leaving her natural hair out i'm going to uh, put some curling jelly on it
also guys i just wanted to say i'm obviously new to curly hair texture i'm literally learning as i go and i hope i'm doing everything right because i know how important curly hair is and how you need to take care of it um and literally if there's any moms that's watching this please let me know of any tips that you know in the comments if you know any or just let me know if i'm doing anything wrong or how i can improve on doing her hair and also thank you so much for watching and supporting me it really means a lot thank you and i really hope you enjoy my videos I am beautiful. Aww. Your hair is pretty. You like your hair? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So as I said, I was going to put some curly jelly in. This is the brand I'm using. It's as I am. Uh, it's the kids one. Born curly. This girl's copying everything I'm saying. I have to retake a lot of these. All right, she was a few seconds away from choking on them beads. Luckily, I've seen it in time. But yeah, this is just to keep her curls in place, to just lock them in place, um, keep them from going frizzy throughout the day and also i'm just blending the bits of the front with her hair at the back and just making sure i'm going through the frizzy strands or the dry strands with the gel uh, curling jelly making sure her hair is even all over and then this is her final hairstyle which is so cute and i love it and she looks so pretty thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy it and see you next time